From the WLRN studios at the Miami Herald, I'm Christine DiMatte. We live in an information age, and you can have all the information in the world, but it's useless if you can't understand it. And that's the case for a lot of Guatemalan Mayans in Palm Beach County. WLRN's Madeline Fox introduces us to a group of teenagers who are trying to bridge a language gap. They call themselves the Mayan Girls. <laughs> Last year, a group of Lake Worth High School girls needed community service hours to graduate. Hello, good afternoon. We are the Mayan Girls. You are Jantio Sahulbe. By the spring, they were on stage at the Kravis Center in West Palm Beach, speaking Kanhobal. The event was a Shark Tank-style pitch session in front of a panel of judges. Our project is about translating important information into a Maya language. Our budget is $15,000, and our main expenses will be going towards equipment, outreach, upcoming events, and laptops. They work out of the Guatemalan Maya Center. They can speak to the center's clients in a way even its own staff can't always do. I have tons of information, but I can't get it to them because I personally don't speak a Mayan language. Daniel Morgan is a social worker at the center. He's also the Mayan Girls advisor for their community service hours. There's a room at the center lined with chairs where people can wait for help. Morgan sits at the end at a desk, walking people through paperwork. See if I run into somebody who barely any Spanish, like I really can't use my Spanish with her, I'll ask the clients in the waiting room or I'll call up one of my trusted translators. So the girl started in that rotation of trusted translators, interpreting on the spot between Morgan and his clients. Lorena Felipe Sebastián translates information into the Mayan language Canjobal for a lot of the center's clients. Sometimes when I see them, they, they seem frustrated that they don't understand it, but like when we're there, they feel more relieved that we're there to help them. They have a better understanding of what others are trying to tell them. But Lorena and the other girls are in high school during the day. They can't be at the center most of the time. So Morgan suggested the girls start recording some information. They gather around a table in whatever room of the Guatemalan Maya Center is quietest with their assignment. One week, it was a flyer about domestic violence. Here's high schooler Ramona Francisco reading the flyer in Spanish. Then the girls discuss the flyer, trying to find words in Canjobal for some of the trickier Spanish concepts. They're not professional translators, they're teenagers. And Google Translate doesn't work for Canjobal. So sometimes they talk their way around words. In this case, promedio, or average. Then Lorena counts Ramona in to start recording. The girls are comfortable using software to record on a computer or a phone. They're digital natives. And that's perfect for the people this is for. Guatemala has one of the lowest literacy rates in the Western Hemisphere, and it's particularly low in indigenous communities. Audio recordings and videos can reach a lot more people than a written flyer. And the girls want to make more sophisticated videos with skits in Canjobal. That's why they went to Philanthropy Tank for the $15,000 in March. You al chandio shaya a tiempo. Thank you for your time. They got the money and already put some of it towards a back-to-school event where they passed out school supplies. Equipment is next on the list. The camera, the um, microphone, the one that hangs on the computer. The Mayan girls are bringing technology to their project. They're also carrying on a legacy of translation. Polly Gaspar Shunkash co-founded the Guatemalan Maya Center. She died in May. She used her Mayan language skills to help indigenous women get prenatal services they desperately needed. Lorena's not sure she wants to make a career out of this. Mm, for me, I mean, I want to work with the center, but like later on in my future, I want to be a boss in construction and roofing. The Mayan girls do want more students to join them and more languages beyond Canjobal. When I go to my classes, it's always that I hear a person speaking a Mayan la- um, language. As the changing climate has pushed more indigenous Guatemalans to Lake Worth, there are more trilingual kids here who speak Mam, Quiche, or Acateco. Their families need information in those languages, too. I'm Madeline Fox in Lake Worth Beach. And this is WLRN News. I'm Christine DiMatte.